Hi there guys, uh, I just thought I'd do a, a uh, review of the Duke Nukem demo, uh, seeing as the game's out in five days, or five days for me because I'm in Australia, nine days for you guys because you're in America, which is sort of weird. Um, anyway, I'm not complaining. <laughs> um, I will be doing an unboxing video of the Balls of Steel edition uh, when I get it, So, but for now let's take a look at the demo, shall we? It's a pretty quick demo, so it's not a huge thing they give you. Um, but it is, I think it is decent. It does give you a decent. It just, it feels short because you really technically only play like one level. Uh, you play a bit of the first level. The first level is like the old game. So, you know, I love this intro with all the logos. 3D Realms, you know, uh, Trichy Games, uh, Piranha Games, all these people involved with this. And then uh, Gearbox and uh, 2K, obviously. Start. Um, you don't really need to change any options unless you want to change your controls, which I don't. So I'm just going to go straight into the demo. Uh, I played on Piece of Cake last time. For fun, let's, oh, I'll try Let's Rock now. One thing, it should say it. Like in the old game, it was like, Let's Rock, yeah, Piece of Cake. You know? It doesn't say anything. Why? get this really weird loading screen. At first I didn't think it was a loading screen, then I was just pushing buttons trying to get the game to start and it's just telling you all the shit. But you can't do anything until you read it all, <laughs> you know? See? Nothing. Start? No? <sighs> ah, loading screen, sorry. It's just a weird loading screen. It just doesn't say loading. <laughs> Okay, and then you get the press A to continue, that's what you want, so then you can go in. Okay. Those alien bastards are gonna pay for shooting up my ride. Did something. Yeah. It's the same scene, but modernized, it's really cool. Time to kick ass into a bubble gun and a whole lot of gun. You can pee! This is taking forever. Time to stop pissing around and get this big guy back into action. So, yep, you hold down the right trigger to pee. Ah. And they keep pissing. And pissing. And pissing. There we go. <laughs> Much better. Alright, can you flush? You can. Oh no, you can use. That's dirty, man. You can't even flush the toilet. What the hell? Can I wash my hands? Turn on. Turn off. What the hell? Turn on. Use. Turn off. Okay, that does absolutely nothing. Alright, um, some other things you might guys might want to know about you can do in the toilets here. Uh, if you go into one of the cubicles here, you can pick up a turd, which is always fun. Oh, first he pisses. So he pisses on the ship first, and then he picks it up. <laughs> Whoa, right. that water's cold. And then, and, deep too. and then you grab, that's it. And now you can throw a, a turd wherever you want. Alright, step one, Alpha Team straight up the middle. Blake, flank left. Phillips and I head around. That's step two. Step three is, uh... Uh, <laughs> the prophet? Right! You ready? There's my turn. Why am I doing this? Because <laughs> it's funny. What the what fuck? Do you think, Duke? Add <laughs> something to the whiteboard? What the fuck? <laughs> didn't say that before. Add something to the whiteboard. Alright. So you can do all sorts of weird shit here. Hey, check out the red marker. Uh, Smells like cherries. Let's do a dick. Oh man! Good plan, Duke. I think they knew everyone would just draw a dick on the board. Oh man! <laughs> that is... I mean, I don't understand any of it, but I bet if I did, that guy over there would still have his arm. 
and at least one of his balls. A fresh cock block. All right, let's start pissing around and kick some ass. <coughs> Try and get the action, and you get blocked. Hey pal, what are you gonna do? Save the world all by yourself? Of course, you save the world all by yourself. Do the fucking world. Swing down here. Um, grab the Devastator. Hold that X. And here, get ready to kick some ass. It's down to you and me, you one-eyed freak. Yeah! Hold that molestic to run. He's got really far away. He's not even hard to beat, you know. Once you run out of bullets, you'll have to wait for the helicopters to drop ammo. That's what you're hearing on the radio there. You'll see it when they drop, they uh, have a flare next door. There's a flare over there, you can see it. Run, bitch. You're over I want that controller. They should that should have been a prize. Was it good for you, baby? <laughs> what about the game, Duke? Was it any good? <laughs> yeah, but after twelve fucking years it should be. <laughs> I want that controller with the nuclear logo as, as the Xbox button. That would have been sick if that had been a real controller. But no. Yeah, I was always a big fan of uh, Duke Nukem 3D. I never played Duke Nukem 1 and 2, but I got Duke Nukem 3D, and I got um, I got like the Atomic Bundle. I got, it's in my garage, you know. I've got like the White House version and all this, all the Duke Nukem's. Um, even Duke Nukem 3D itself, I bought a separate add-on, uh, Duke in the Caribbean or something, where all the guns were changed. But I never got the Nuclear Winter one. There were two add-ons that came out. I never got the Nuclear Winter one, but I had the, the Caribbean one. It was a bit sort of silly. Guns turned into like coconut launchers and weird shit like that. Alright, so here we have the uh, Mighty Foot. I remember the Mighty Foot was always cute when he used his foot. Hey, the turbo. Don't worry, I'll just reset it. 
I, I used the time out too early. Alright, so he, he ran out of gas, so you gotta jump out now. And this is where I almost got stuck in the rocks there. This is where you start kicking the mess. Uh, it's sort of hard to aim a bit with, um, you know, I used to play on PC, so it's Xbox aiming now. But um, I'm hoping I can get used to it enough to get through the game. Some new guns here. Uh, what do we got here? Railgun. Railgun. voice is just so entertaining. <laughs> the guy that does the voice is so cool. I was like watching like documentaries and stuff on him, doing the voices and that. He seems like a really cool guy. You know, he's stuck with the series all this time, same voice which is very cool. I wish I could say that about like Mortal Kombat, you know, where they didn't they didn't keep Steve Ritchie in for the MK2 voice, which I thought was weird. Especially after they got him back for Shadow Monks. They got him back for Shadow Monks and they didn't get him back for MK9? Why? Made no sense. Regenerative health, which I like. Nothing worse than having to hunt around for a med kit all the time. <laughs> Dead space too. <laughs> time you line shit up on Xbox, they move out the way. If I can get that awesome kill again. Yeah, bitch. 